What's up everybody on YouTube? Your boy Chad's back at it again. We got a special one for you today. A 2006 GMC Sierra Denali. Oh, I have not personally ever filmed a Denali package Sierra from back in 2006, but today we're getting into it here at Rogers Enterprises. Let's go ahead and get this review started. I found another great place to film vehicles at out here. They got a great amount of inventory, good vehicles, great vehicles, by the way. I mean, let me tell you, folks, they really take care of their inventory, keep them clean, make sure all the vehicles are maintenance and ready to rock and roll. But let's go ahead and get started on it. This is an 06 GMC Sierra Denali crew cab, full four-door, good looking, by the way. I'm loving the wheels, got them grappler looking grippy tires on there, gives it that nice off-road look with a 20 inch blacked out wheel. We're gonna move in a little closer here and take a look at her though. And uh, of course it is for sale. So I'll do the best I can to kind of share as much information with you as possible. And, uh, and let you see it, let you hear it run, pop the hood, all that stuff. Now under the hood of this Sierra, some of y'all already know, it's rocking a 6.0 liter Vortec under there. Plenty of power to get the job done any given day of the week. Now it does have some aftermarket stuff like the headlights here. Pretty good looking headlights. I love the black housing. Everything flows nicely how they blacked out the grill. But uh, it looks like possibly maybe that's some type of LED light bar in there. Okay, we'll cut them on here in just a moment and take a look at that. But you got aftermarket headlamps. Looks like that possibly is the factory grill on there and someone just sprayed it with a flat black or a semi-gloss Which looks good. Um, I like the black and the white contrast going on and uh, Whoever owned the truck previously it did all this did a nice job with it Okay, I mean from the wheels to the grill to the blacked out tinted windows looks like 5% it's really dark Let's go ahead and take a look at the wheels and tires So these are Iron Man all-country MT tires and uh, they are a 33 by 12 and a half with a 20 inch rim. I don't know who actually makes those rims because the uh, logo is not there. But a uh, pretty good looking wheel. Kind of a sporty looking wheel. And, uh, and I like the tires on here. You do have the running rails at the bottom. The Denali badge. <laughs> Excuse me. It says I'm an 06, right? Um, you also have the window visors which look nice. But... The dark tint, window tint is definitely a great thing to have here in the south. As hot as it is, it's going to keep it a little cooler. Full four door is also a nice thing to have. And uh, it already has a spray in bed liner back here. So you got that. Back tires are in good shape. I don't think they're brand new tires, but there's still plenty of tread. You got tow package. Now, I don't really know. I mean, now I'm really kind of starting to wonder here as I'm looking at this truck. And I'm wondering if, and some of y'all may be able to help with this. Get in that comment section, please. Did they even make a Denali package Sierra truck back in 06? I'm starting to wonder if that's just a aftermarket badge put on there. And I'll tell you a reason why I'm thinking that right about now. Because, kind of... Kind of looks like like this may be something somebody purchased because it's still got the the clear tape around the uh, the wording, which definitely needs to come off so it has a nice shine to it. But it still has that tape on there. So to me, that's somebody had this put on. Just a guess, but I could be right. What kind of made me think about that just now? is this right here. If it was a real Denali, wouldn't it have a Denali badge on the back tailgate like they do on the newer GMC trucks, wouldn't they? It also looks like that possibly at some point or another it had one of these rails back here. I mean, it definitely looks probably a little bit nicer without the rail for sure, but something tells me it might not be an actual Denali, but still a good looking truck nevertheless. Let's 
take a look at the interior because that's another indication if it's an actual Denali or not because most Denalis will have some kind of Denali badging on the inside of the truck. You do have Bose stereo system, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, heated seats, memory seats. That's a mouthful. Lumbar support. Seats are still pretty good shape. I mean, it's got its average kind of wrinkling going on like that. I call it varicose veins, but anyways, but they're still in pretty good shape. I like the white with the gray interior. Definitely a nice color combination. If it had the tan, it just wouldn't flow right with the black and all that, okay? Um, it does have a darker wood trim on the dash, which I like. Again, flows nicely. Steering wheel looks good. Radio does work. AC is working. It's pumping out nice and cold right now. And uh, your armrest is in great shape. Passenger seat in great shape. Has a sunroof up top. And the back seats are in phenomenal condition. As you can see, a jump box back there because I did jump off the truck earlier to get it cranked up. It had power, but it needed a little help. You know, and again, folks, at the car lot, cars, batteries, the car batteries die all the time. Vehicles just sit for a week or two or longer, and they, they just don't get cranked up enough. Now, either a woman had driven this truck at some point and her heel wore out into there, or a guy had boots on a lot and wore out the bottom of that floor. But back seats are in good shape. I mean, definitely the leather in the back seats is way nicer than the front seats because not as many people sit in the back, you know? The front driver's seat always will be wore out more. So what's your thoughts going forward right now, guys and girls? Is this a Denali? GMC Sierra or did somebody try doing a little trickery with us? Go ahead and pop the hood, take a look under here. Our 6.0 liter Vortec Max. Seems to be running good. Battery actually seems to be new. And um, there's your truck, man. Good engine, good looking. Not bad at all. And I'll tell you folks, the price up on the windows looking great at $79.90 cash. You could finance it if you wanted to with a down payment, but $79.90 cash will get you done out here. $8,000 or best offer. You could be driving this truck home today and still a beautiful truck. All right, everybody, before we finish up the video here of this Sierra, I told everybody earlier I'd pop them headlights on for you so you have a look at them. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, from what I'm gathering right now, it doesn't seem, this actually, this right here actually does not have any lighting that I can see behind it because it's not lighting up. Um, it's more or less for looks, but uh, still nice looking light. Not too bad. Probably definitely a little bit better looking headlight there than maybe what came on the truck from the manufacturer back in 06. But, um, you know, it depends on what you're doing with your truck. You know, if you're going to do this, this kind of color combination here with it, um, doesn't look too bad. Just depends on what you want to do. But uh, any older truck from 06, over, well over 10 years old, you know, you're going to at some point want to refresh your headlights, your taillights possibly, and dress it up a little bit. Beautiful truck though. Let us know, is it really a Denali? I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to look up online and, uh, and see if they actually did make a Denali. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. We'll see you soon, guys. I'm signing out. Like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And if you actually are interested in buying this truck and you live in the Carolinas, please stop by and see the guys here at Rogers Enterprises at area code 843-552-1330. We'll see you on the next clip.